Hi students, in this video I am going to talk to 7th standard students. Students, we have been talking about animal fiber chapter. In the chapter, we have talked about how silk is produced and what do we call the process of production of silk. That is nothing but what? Sericulture. And in the sericulture process, we have been talking about various steps, various stages. And finally, we get silk yarn. Yarn is nothing but 3 to 8 fibers together twisted and made into yarn, made into yarn. So, only making yarn is enough, do you think? No, right? The yarn should be used to make fabric, okay? The yarn is used to make fabrics or clothes, okay, students? How? Clothes are made. The process of making clothes is called or fabric is called weaving. What? Weaving process. Process of what? Making fabric process of making fabric is called weaving see how this process is followed how this process is followed see students process of making fabric involves the process of arrangement process of what arrangement of yarns you know after fiber is made the fiber is used to make yarns and after yarns are made the yarns are used to make fabric you know here first fiber next yarn the yarn is used to make fabric okay fabric is nothing but what cloth so if the fiber comes from silk then you will finally get silk cloth if you get fiber from cotton you will get cotton cloth. Finally, you will get cotton cloth. Okay, if the fiber is obtained from polyester or you know that artificial fiber, the fiber, uh, synthetic fibers, man made fibers using chemicals like uh, polyester, then finally, what we will get? You will get polyester cloth. But here in this chapter, what are we going to talk? animal fiber means it's a natural fiber we are talking about what animal fiber here in this we are talking about weaving weaving is the process of arrangement of yarns so here how the yarns are arranged is the main point see here yarns are arranged in such a way, some yarns are fixed longitudinal like this, okay. Both the ends of these yarns are fixed at a particular fixing point and next the arrangement of these yarns are longitudinal longitudinal arrangement or vertical vertical arrangement 
सो दिस यांस विच आर अरेंज वर्टिकली और लॉन्गिट्यूडनली कॉल्ड वैप इन वीविंग प्रोसेस वैप यांस दीज आर वैप यांस डब्ल्यू ए आर पी वैप यांस एंड व्हाट अबाउट नेक्स्ट the other type of yarns are inserted below and above of wrap yarns below and above of wrap yarns like this students if you keenly observe this you will be able to understand and it's nothing but you know the navar how the navar is weaved to a cot same like that the yarns are arranged in a cloth okay and these are longitudinal arrangement of the yarns or vertical arrangement of the yarns called wraps and then what about the yarns which are arranged transversely ट्रांसफर्स ट्रांसफर ट्रांसफर अरेंजमेंट ट्रांसफर अरेंजमेंट स्टूडेंट्स दिस ट्रांसफर अरेंजमेंट और हॉरिजेंटल अरेंजमेंट दिस हॉरिजेंटल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द यांस ट्रांसफर और हॉरिजेंटल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द यांस और इंसर्टेड above and below of the wrap yarns and this type of yarns the uh, the yarns which are arranged horizontally called weft yarns you know in weaving process wrap and weft wrap and weft these words are important in this weaving process these weft yarns are horizontal arrangement of yarns and the wrap yarns are longitudinal or vertical arrangement of the yarns so this is how the yarns are fixed or arranged and finally we will get a fabric or cloth okay students and this is how we get the cloths next here to give a beauty to the cloth the yarns are arranged in different colors you know the yarns are arranged in different colors you know different colors see the cloths that are in different colors we don't see the colors are in same color right we don't see the cloths are in same color we see the cloths in different colors that's because the arrangement of the yarns are in different colors okay students like this we get different colorful fabrics and also uh, this you know weaving center in telangana is pochampalli pochampalli is very famous in telangana state and pochampalli is also called as silk city of telangana what silk city of telangana and there is a popular saying in the public that tie and die tie and die what pochampalli silk pochampalli silk fabric and other places like you know dharmavaram and all dharmavaram uh, it's 
uh, also famous for making silk fabrics. Dharmavaram silk is also famous in our country and that fabric, silk fabric is that silk fabric which is made in Dharmavaram is famous for wide border and dots and that is also called a rich butta ok it is very famous for that and also the name of the fabric is given name of that particular fabric is given based on the place where they are produced or based on the place where they are weaved ok and here not only Pochampalli or Dharmavaram and other places also there Benaras, Kanchipuram, Narayan Pet and etc etc you can see in your textbook you can understand the places where these fabrics are made well ok here one more thing that that you let us understand that the silk fiber is added with some chemicals and then that is given some strength if chemicals are added to silk fiber that becomes very strength that strengthen fiber strengthen silk fiber is used to make other type of fabrics like uh, satin and crepe so these are also products of silk ok but some chemicals are added to it like this ok students uh, and can you give some examples of the fabrics that we make using silk silk fiber or silk cloth mainly saris frocks for girls and panchas and etc 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 you know there are different varieties of fabrics clothes that are made by silk ok I think you have understood what is weaving and how is weaving done and what are the uh, what is the arrangement of the yarns and what do we call them and then Oh, what are the famous places where the silk fabrics are made and all I hope you understood this class uh, I want you to write all these points in a uh, sentence form in your notebook and present in our whatsapp group students and uh, this is for this video students thank you for listening thank you one and all